in this problem actually it's a very 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 beautiful problem okay in isolated synchronous generator like you know whatever the point they have given at the end conclusion will contradict that let us uh, focus like you know an isolated 58 synchronous generator is rated at 15 megawatt 15 megawatt okay which is also the maximum continuous power limit of its prime mover actually they are not supposed to give this okay why we will uh, come to know which is also the maximum continuous power limit of its prime mover they are not supposed to give this because answer will contact the same statement just let us see it is equipped with a speed governor with five percent droop okay so 15 megawatt is having like you know five percent drooping characteristics initially the generator is feeding three loads of four megawatt each at 50 h one of these loads is programmed to trip uh, permanently if the frequency falls below 48 h if an additional load of 3.5 megawatt is connected then the frequency will settle down to okay point here is see the options see the options did they give like you know anything less than 48h no okay so logically logically like you know they have given they did not give anything less than 48 means that what does it mean it is having 4 megawatt of 3 kind so 12 plus it is having 3.5 megawatt extra so 3 into 4 12 plus 3.5 is going to 15.5 megawatt out of 15.5 here the maximum capacity given is 15 megawatt contradictory okay because if any answer is less than 48 then i can say one of the four megawatt is going to be tripped under that condition two four megawatts will be there so two into four eight plus 3.5 11.5 okay so point here is they did not give less than 48 means that all four loads like you know 4 into 3 12 plus 3.5 megawatt like you know four loads are there are connected are connected anyway like you know most of the people most of the people may not like you know uh, take the keyword okay what is the keyword let us see for example okay so in this drooping characteristics we are going to consider what is the drooping characteristics five percent for 15 megawatt so definitely frequency will droop okay so this is going to be 15 megawatt for 15 megawatt my droop from here to here is five percent okay so what is the droop actually like you know five percent of uh, 50 h is going to 2.5 h okay so five percent of 50 h is going to be 2.5 h so from here to here the difference is going to be 2.5 h now problem here is like you know many of the students might think that okay let us keep 50 here let us keep 47.5 here no now let us see the question again let us see the question again where is the keyword see here the generator is feeding three loads of four megawatt each <coughs> at 50 h at 50 h this is the keyword okay so just like you know in this question if you can capture this at 50 h your problem is solved okay so how much like you know it is uh, operating it is operating at 50 h when it is feeding 12 megawatt means that like you know it is for example from here to here it is 15 maybe from here to here let me consider 12 megawatt okay yet 12 megawatt it was operating at 50 h problem solved problem solved okay let us see for example for 15 megawatt droop is 2.5 h okay so for 15 megawatt droop is 2.5 h for 12 megawatt how much is the droop direct proportionality only no direct proportionality only so for 12 megawatt it should be reduced right 2.5 divided by 15 into 12 is going to be 2 h now 12 megawatt it is supplying at 50 h means that at no load how much is the frequency 50 plus 2 is going to be 52 point sorry 52 h just a minute this is going to be 52 h 
okay so from here to here 15 megawatt how much is the like you know frequency variation 2.5 h so this is going to be 49.5 h now let us see for example upon like you know 12 megawatt okay previously it was operating at 3 into 4 12 megawatt at 50 h now on top of 12 megawatt something extra is connected how much extra is connected 3.5 megawatt okay so 3.5 megawatt is connected extra so if it is 3.5 12 plus 3.5 is going to be 15.5 so this is 15.5 megawatt at 15.5 same same straight line how much is the frequency he is asking okay at the end i will uh, give the conclusion for example 52 to 50 okay so slope dy by dx 52 minus 50 52 minus 50 divided by 12 dy by dx equal to 52 minus 52 minus f f divided by 15.5 you will get the answer or you can consider 52 to 49.5 okay so 52 to 49.5 divided by 15 equal to 52 minus f by like you know 15 also can be considered okay so anyway here like you know i can consider from here to here or here to here okay so if you extend that to here to here 15.5 you are going to get the answer that's it so you will get a frequency of 49.417 h so answer is 49.417 h but logic here is one thing because like you know an isolated 50 hz synchronous generator is rated at 15 megawatt they should have given they shouldn't have given like you know which is also maximum continuous power limit of its prime mover they are not supposed to give why because at the end <coughs> at what power it is getting operated 15.5 so for 15.5 operating frequency is 49.417 h it is the answer right but what is the output 15.5 but what is the maximum power handling capacity of the prime mover is 15 only they have given contradictory statement contradictory statement but anyway we have to accept like you know we have to keep it here only okay for example for example if they have given like you know if they have given here none of the above none of the above under that condition we have to select this why because like you know the moment like you know it is operating at 15.5 megawatt 15.5 megawatt immediately what is the prime over capacity is 15 only no so like you know if my prime over capacity is 15 megawatt how can alternator produce 15.5 no it cannot produce so none of the above could be right answer but anyway in the given options only option which is possible is 49.417 h it's a really really wonderful problem